Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen. Today I'm doing another kids mommy video and I'm doing DIY snacks for kids. I mean, I guess these snacks work for all types of kids, but I would say like toddler age and up. These are snacks that, um, you know, all of us loved, I'm sure, as kids, like fruit roll-ups and goldfish and things like that. But it's kind of nice to know um, all the ingredients that are going into what you're feeding your children, especially when it comes to snacks, because just like every other toddler, or most toddlers, my son can be picky about what he eats. Like he doesn't like meat and he like definitely does not like veggies. I try my hardest to like <laughs> feed him the ones that he will eat. Um, but yeah, I mean, he definitely loves snacks and he's always asking me for snacks. That's him. Oh goodness. I bet you he wants a snack. Anyway, so today I'm making uh, do-it-yourself uh, snacks that I found on Pinterest. So this is kind of like a Pinterest hacks video, just sharing with you guys um, some of the things that I pinned. <laughs> I pinned a lot when I was pregnant. <laughs> I did a ton of pinning when I was pregnant, hoping that I would definitely get around to it at some point. And so now that he's a toddler, I'm definitely trying out some of the ideas like the, you know, the fun little games and do-it-yourself crafts and uh, food and snacks and things like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and yeah, we'll just jump right in. So snacks are great and all, and I definitely love to treat Oliver to crackers and um, various bars and things like that, but I always try to maintain, um, you know, fruits and vegetables as much as I can in his diet. He really, really loves berries. Um, he does love carrots and cucumber, so I make these little snack pods. You can add anything you want to these snack pods. It could be cubes of cheese and pretzels, but I try to do really, really healthy options. Since I know my son will just devour berries, I will have a side for berries and then um, cucumber and some carrots and I will put it in these little snack pods and if he asks me for a snack which he'll usually come over and let me know like hey mom I want a snack or I'll ask him if he wants a snack I will have a few of these ready to go um, they're only good once you cut the veggies and fruit for about maybe three days so I will pre-make these and offer it to him if he asks me for a snack if he doesn't finish it all I'll put it back in the refrigerator um, but I just like to have these healthy options ready to go on hand and just I know with the cucumber it's already cut it's just the perfect size for him to eat snack pods are definitely a quick and easy way to feed your toddler something healthy and even older kids you could definitely put this in their lunch boxes Next up, we have fruit roll-ups, which I've been seeing all over Pinterest and just dying to make for Oliver because I remember I used to love fruit roll-ups. So I will have the full ingredient list, of course, in the description. But basically, it's just um, honey, which I have um, this this honey that I get from Sprouts and some organic berries. And I put that all in my um, food processor and just process that away. And um, then I just you're just gonna pour it on silpat and you're gonna actually cook it. And it you're gonna bake it for, I think it's about six hours. It's definitely a long time. So keep in mind that it's basically just dehydrating it. After what seems like an eternity in the oven, you're gonna take it out and it's actually dehydrated at that point, which is fabulous because you can just pull it right off the baking sheet and then you're gonna put it onto some parchment paper and then you're just gonna roll it just like you do with the traditional fruit roll-ups. Um, and then I like to cut it to make them smaller portions. There's another option that you can choose to do, and that's to strain the seeds. Um, looking back, that might be something I do if I ever make this again in the future, which I do think I will do, because my son really, really liked this a lot. Um, he's a big fan of berries on their own, and this is just berries with a little honey. You can add more or less to your taste, um, but these were pretty tart, so they weren't super duper sweet, and he still really liked them as like a special treat or snack, and especially if you're potty training or you're around that age, this is a great snack or treat if they've used the potty or, you know, it's good reinforcement. So the bottom line is that I'm a big fan of these, 
and um, I definitely divided them. I didn't give them all to him at once because he went crazy and wanted more and more and more. Um, but it just, I don't know, it brought me back to my childhood and how much I loved fruit roll-ups and I was glad that he liked them and just to know what actually went inside of them. Um, but yeah, big hit. Next, we are making homemade goldfish, which is another one that I saw on Pinterest and just had to try, and I was so amazed by this recipe. I just loved it. So again, full recipe will be in the description, but I'm just adding cheddar cheese and some flour. Now, of course, if there's a type of flour that you like to use for um, your children, uh, you can certainly use that and make it even more of a healthy option. I just like that these are made from home, and obviously just some butter and a little bit of salt. Um, and then, again, I'm gonna put it in the food processor and just go ahead and just process it until you really start to see the color come out the cheese and you'll see that the cheese will really start to um, make its appearance as it becomes more and more orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top of the food processor. I'm gonna take a spatula and just kind of push everything down in the middle and go ahead and just process it one more time through to just make sure it's really, really smooth. You just want like a sandy texture. Um, and then I'm going to remove the top again and slowly add a little bit of water. Um, I believe it's a tablespoon at a time and we're gonna do two. So I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm going to run it through the food processor Take off the top, add a little bit again, run it through the food processor, and then we're gonna have the dough that we need to make our goldfish. With the spatula, I'm gonna take the dough out of the food processor and onto some plastic wrap because it needs to chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. While the dough chills in the refrigerator, be sure to set your oven to 350 degrees, which is the temperature that it needs to be at when you cook. After the dough has chilled for 30 minutes, you're going to roll the dough out. And then these taste very, very similar to Cheez-Its and also goldfish. So you can make squares if you want. I actually made a little fish out of a Perrier can and used that to create um, the little fish. Now obviously it's bigger and thicker than a traditional goldfish, but it tasted just like it. And I have to say, I even got my chef husband to approve. He was eating them and he said, wow, those taste really, really good. They tasted just like Cheez-Its and goldfish. Like we were so blown away. So I just created a bunch of little cutouts and put it onto a um, baking sheet. And I'm gonna bake it for about 15 minutes. Um, so it doesn't take very long at all. I left it in for about 17 minutes because I felt like at 15 minutes it needed a little bit longer. So I would say 16 minutes is probably the perfect amount to bake depending on the temperature of your oven and how your oven works exactly. But about between 15 and 17 minutes. I added a little bit of salt on top and um, this is obviously a special treat that looked like a lot of salt, but it really wasn't that much, I promise. Um, this was a special treat for Oliver and I loved them, he loved them, Byron loved them. They were definitely a hit for the family, so I would definitely try these out. Um, it just, it feels good to know that you made, even if it's kind of a guilty pleasure snack, like you made it at your own home and you know everything that went in there. Um, so yeah, those were a hit. So I don't know about your house, but in my house, we definitely love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I I mean, come on, doesn't every toddler love a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? So when my son goes to grandma's house, um, she always has the Uncrustables um, and she feeds them to him because he loves them. So I'm like, I could make that. Obviously, I don't like to waste, so I do eat the edges because I just feel bad throwing it away, but I do make these little airplane shape, um, kind of like Uncrustable 
peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for Oliver and he just loves them. I mean, they're the perfect size. You can pre-make them. He always plays with them because he thinks they're actually like airplanes. So he'll like make the noise. Like right now he's making the noise going zzzz. But um, it's just a fun, really easy, very, very easy. I think most moms kind of do this for their kids. Um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich are definitely a hit. So I get those um, at Target. You can get those cutouts. And then finally we have fruit snacks, which again, fruit snacks are another super yummy treat uh, for kids, but it's good to know that you're making them at home and you're kind of controlling the ingredients um, that go in there. So I'm starting again with the food processor. I have frozen berries that have just kind of been sitting out for a little bit, um, so they're not super, super frozen. So I have the berries and I went ahead and processed those. I'm going to put those into a pan, a stovetop pan, and I'm going to cook it on medium to low heat. I'm adding some lemon juice and a little bit of honey. So in the saucepan you're going to heat the strawberries and the lemon juice and honey. And then you're going to, slow. once that gets hot, you're going to slowly add some gelatin. Just slowly add a little bit at a time and whisk it in there. Um, and the key is to really add a little bit at a time and make sure it is thoroughly absorbed so that you don't get lots and lots of clumps. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're going to let it reduce a little bit and then you're going to put it in a um, pan and then you're just going to stick it in the refrigerator and let it refrigerate for about eight hours or overnight. So essentially these are basically like jello, but it was reduced a little bit more so it's even chewier like a fruit snack. Um, it's similar to a fruit snack, but it resembles jello a little bit more for me. And I left it out and it was a little warm and it kind of melted. I cut them into squares, but you could cut different shapes out. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want with them. But again, with this recipe, very similar to the fruit um, roll-up recipe, I probably would have preferred if I strained the seeds and didn't have the seeds in there. But I will say they tasted really tangy, not as sweet as a traditional fruit snack, and my son still really, really liked them. Um, he ate them and really enjoyed them. So I'll maybe try a little bit of a different method and tweak it next time. But um, yeah, I mean, those were a hit as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my last two videos, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.